But aren't there ever times, because I'm sure a lot of this audience feels, and those of you who are at home feels, that there are times when people do things to you. People do things to you when you are just the victim. Hmm. Right? No. No. <laughs> Not right. No. People do things to you, of yeah. course. It happens all the time. But what happens to you in your life is you live your life inside. Yeah. And it isn't what people do to you, it's how you react to what people do to you that makes the difference between you being a fully functioning per uh, person or a victim. That's, that's the way it is in life. It's like the day of the space shuttle crash, all yeah. right? I was speaking in Seattle, Washington. It was January the 28th last year. And on the day that I speak, I don't listen to newspapers. I don't uh, read, uh, I mean, I don't read the newspapers or listen to the radio. And I want everything to be positive and it's always very negative. 10 minutes before I go on, someone tells me about this thing and I feel bad. And I asked the audience, what is it that made me feel bad? And everyone says, well, the space shuttle and wasn't that terrible. So I said, if the space shuttle crash had made me feel bad, why did it wait 12 hours, all right? It wasn't the crash, it was how I processed it, what I did with it. That's the whole difference in life, and that's to me where but I'm But how do you from. not feel bad when bad things happen? Well, if, if, if feeling bad when bad things happen is going to improve the quality of your life, then I would, I would be here on the show saying, let's teach people to feel bad. Yeah, okay? yeah. But, feel bad all but, day. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that's not why I flew here okay. today. You know? you, it's like when bad things happen out there, you can either uh, get a lesson from it. There are no accidents to me in a perfect universe. There are only lessons. Okay. Everything that happens is a lesson, and you so, either learn from it or you become a victim of it. If you want to see a video of a young Les Brown that's fire, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,